You're freaking me out. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm Eduardo. And I'm Amy. And uh, here is a segment that we love to call Spit or, or Swallow. swallow. Um, and this is where we're going to actually take a whole bunch of wines that we uh, got over at BevMo. Um, we love Bev, the BevMo. The, the BevMo. Uh, essentially what we want to do is, is tackle the mm -hmm. far too maligned Merlot. I mean, poor Merlot. What did Merlot ever do to anyone? If, if, if you think I about had, Merlot had, in had, France had, and you think, what? I had to Yes. I gotta say something. Now look, there's no really official literature that Merlot has uh, been maligned by sideways, but we all know that it absolutely, absolutely has. Absolutely Because Miles, you know, I won't drink any Merlot. Yeah, that yeah. was his line. So I want to say that Merlot plantings have dropped 6% since 2005. And Pinot Noir plantings have quadrupled in the last 10 years. So we can see that the Pinot Noir is going way up, Merlot's coming down. But what's really interesting is that people are still drinking a lot of Merlot. So we tasted six Merlots from the BevMo. All right, so out of the six these Merlots, are, these, these are, are the three, three that we picked. thought. These, these are, were the. We're we, <laughs> whoo. Mm. Swallow. Spit, oh, you got it. Oh. Yeah. You um, got that. Anyway, um, that was weird. I, uh, I think I think this is delicious. I think this is very good. I think it's smooth, velvety. It's got a bit of the oak influence. There's um, some cedar, some chocolate. I think milk chocolate, like Ooh. Swiss milk, milk chocolate. Milk duds, a little caramel. In yes, there too. milk duds. Yeah. Really easy to drink, and this is this is why people love Merlot because it's just there. It's just right. It's just straightforward and lovely. Let's reveal the wine. <laughs> You know what? And I'm psyched about this. I love it! I know. Oh my gosh! I know. Again, and this is why we taste blind, because okay. I swear to God, I would never actually buy this in a shop because I see it everywhere. Friends, this is the 2006 Columbia Crest Merlot. But I think Washington is doing great things. They're a cool climate, like way far more similar to Bordeaux than say the Napa Valley, where it gets way too hot, the wines get too ripe. This is the grandest state. In my scale, I give this wine a 90 points, all right? I want to say something. I'm sure you do. I feel like that I have to say that every single time I want to say something so that you'll be quiet for a little while. Go. I want to say something. I, this one, when I first had it, I gave it a zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a rating. Listen, I'm tasting it now and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. I think. I think this is one of those wines that's really opened up for me. So I'm gonna rescore it from zero, big fat donut hole, to 85 points. Wow. That's what I'm gonna do, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Oh my goodness wow. gracious, are you ready for this? The price, $8.99 for this one. $8.99. I swear Wait. to God, you know what? You wanna swallow? Oh, yes. I wanna swallow. Mm. It's a really nice one. It's what? really good. What do you want for $8.99, people? Jeez. Next! Right. Number three. Number three. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, completely oh. different, completely different ball game. Right now, off the set, I, I don't know if I'm getting Robitussin or if it's NyQuil, but I actually wrote Vix. This is the deal. This was actually my highest scoring wine. All right, talk to me, Amy. I'm, I'm going back. God, I feel like I'm all over the place with these Merlots. Like, I'm actually changing this back to maybe my least favorite. Whoa! Ho, ho. Consistent? Not consistent. Okay, get this one. It smells like an octogenarian. An octogenarian? Yeah. How many 80 year olds are, do you smell a day? I don't know, but it smells like one. A little dust. <laughs> you heard it here first. Amy loves smelling 80 year olds. I don't know what that's about, but go ahead. Listen, listen, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's reveal no, no, the 80-year-old no, 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 wine. No, I want to see what you I think. I want to explain. It smells a little dusty. Amy. I can't call it anything else but that smell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh what's the wine, please? Oh! 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 Wow. From Napa County. Notice these Appalachian tricks. This is a Napa County yeah. Folie à de Merlot. However, interesting enough, the out of the wines that we had, that flight, mm -hmm. this was the second highest score that I gave. This was my, my 87 pointer. I'm gonna go back and rate this wine like 72. Because I still love old people. What was it? 
Uh, $14.99 for this wine. You know what? I'm very glad that I said it's a spit. Uh, it's a super small production, only 1,500 cases made. And um, honestly, I, um, I think, oh gosh, look at this. Wine was aged for seven months in a combination of American, French, and Hungarian oak, but it's 91% 91, 91 American. I think that's what lends it that sort of like menthol-y, mm -hmm. uh, sort of odd quality. You know what? Let's put this aside. Let's go to this last one, number five. Oh, taste. We like Thank you. Number five is one that I uh, I think is interesting just because it's really easy drinking, it's really simple, it's really just, nah, is what I'll give it. I, again, rated this wine much higher in the first tasting than I am now. It, it smells like, um, like there's no, it smells tanky to me, like all this primary fruit without, any, without a lot of complexity. All right, what do we got here, friends? Mm. Whoa, okay, Whoa. you know what? <laughs> this, my friends, is Barefoot Merlot from California. Honestly, I, I am getting a headache just thinking about the fact that I put that in my mouth right now. <laughs> I ended up giving it 77 and a spit. I gave it an 82. My first tasting, I would downgrade it to a 79. Wow. This wine costs um, $5.99. $5 and right. it's non-vintage. All I'm saying is this. There is a lot of disparity between a, a, a $6, an $8, and a $17 Merlot. Um, I gotta say that Yes, sometimes judge a book by its cover. No, sometimes don't judge a book by its cover. But um, if you're looking for great Merlot and you want to stand apart and you want something that really has character, maybe start looking to Washington. Washington State. Washington State. And on that note, we're out of time and we will see you next time on, on the show. The show. <laughs>